is a precious banda. I am 16 years of age. I am from Mifanyana district, a rural district on the Kapadwa province of Zambia. There are, a lot, there, are some, there are issues that I would like to change in my community. These are ain't early or child marriages. Because this has, there is a mentality in my place that when someone reaches the age, when someone flows to go to bed, eight or bed 10, they should be married off. Which should not be the case. For these ch young children have to, have to add to the development of the country. And also, and also this, early, this thing of early marriages is being about complications during birth for these young mothers. They, there is also another issue that I would like to change, which is the promotion of human rights. Many children do not know their rights, and therefore even if they are violated, they do not have an idea that this, this right has been violated. And if we, if we promote these rights, we should, there, will be, there will be a reduction in, the ch in, in cases of child abuse, and also, and also their parents will know, they, will know their limits, and also the children will know their responsibilities. And another issue that I would like to change is I want to increase the access by children and mothers to healthcare. If this is increased, we reduce the cases of mobility and mortality rates of mothers and children. And also another issue is increased access to budget allocation towards mother and child. If we increase this, we reduce many cases like complicated deliveries, mortality rates we reduce, and also the education, we, uh, education Education will improve. Why I'm making, uh, why I'm trying to make this happen is by sensitizing the parents, the duty bearers, and also the children. And also, I've been involved in in child debates by the help of several the children who have who have established child child rights clubs in all the schools so that children more uh, children learn more about their rights. And also, we have been talking to the we have been talking to the lawmakers to make sure that they allocate more money to more money to the health care and education of children and also we have been working with organizations that, uh, such as children, that serve the children in promoting maternal and child health and I think young people have got a role to play in government programs and policies because as young people are the future leaders of tomorrow and therefore we have to be involved in all the policies and policies and programs of government if we're not involved we're going to have a doomed future. And also, us young people are responsible for shaping our future. If we, if we, if we act responsibly, we will not, be, we will not grow up to be a productive citizens, and therefore, we will become burdens to the government instead of being assets. And also, us young people are very persistent. If we, if we stand for something, we will interest until we make sure that that thing is done or corrected. And also, as young people, this, this world is changing and also us young people are changing the world. So how to be involved so that you can also contribute to the changing, the changing government. And the world that, that I would like to see by the year 2030 is a world where all the children have the right to health, education and shelter. A, child, um, a world in which all the rights of the child are recognized and implemented. A world without death due to maternal, maternal complications. Well, we love this due to preventable child illnesses. This is all I had for you. Thank you.